Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Forge Irish Stout, Freebets.com, Empire Fight Style. We're here. The gentleman is back a long time out the ring. I know you were eager to get back out there tonight. You've done it in the best way possible by getting a knockout. Talk to me how you feel. Matt, feel unbelievable, mate. It was uh, it was better than what I could have could have asked you. I mean, I didn't expect that today. I expected. I thought I could stop him, if I'm honest with you, but I thought it would be late rounds. And he's, he's a tough man, 25 on 20. He weren't meant to be a walkover opponent, and, and he weren't a walkover. Believe that, it was a, it was a good shot I landed, and uh, he was still he was still game. He still got up, and we're freaking out him out. But yeah, we've got, mate, buzzing. That's all I'm I, I feel like, although uh, you're obviously still in early stage of your career, that you've been around quite a long time, but you've had that long absence out the ring. Describe that feeling of making that ring walk again, knowing that you're back on the zone, and that you're sort of you know reintroducing yourself at a new weight, at Cruiserweight as well. Listen, I'm at, I'm at Cruiserweight now and I'm still filling out into Cruiserweight, do you know what I mean? I make it quite comfortably and still got this bit of fleshy body, so it's, it's, do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's nice, I'm going to fill into, still fill into it more, do you know what I mean? But um, uh, listen, that fight there, uh, it's going to put a statement to a lot of people, do you know what I mean? Like, in the sense that I wasn't a puncher, I weren't meant to be this and just done a two round job on a 25-on-20 on 20 fighter, so a good fighter. Um, the main thing is I've got two hands, do you know what I mean? It's a different story. I, I had the, the hand injury in my second pro fight, so I was carrying the injury for loads of camps and first time in the change room, we're in there going, it feels weird, like hitting pads before a fight. I used to save myself and just do paddles and everything, it's all coming together. Obviously sparring and doing it properly, it's different. Were yeah. you a bit tentative in there? Because obviously when you, you throw with that hand that has had that injury, was there a bit of your nerves, you know, how would it feel if you catch him clean? Is it going to go again? Just talk me through that and describe the knockout. Yeah, that, what you just said there basically, I, I kind of, I, I'm sure when I watch it back, I, I, I'll, I'll see it as well, but I, I felt like I fell over myself a little bit and just sometimes I forced it too much because I was putting everything into it because I'm thinking, if it goes, I still had that mentality, if it goes, mate, I'm in trouble with so, um, I did overreach a few times, but ultimately I felt really strong in there. And uh, mm -hmm. I've always said it. I think if someone comes and has a go properly, that's going to be the result every time. And we see that there. He come and had a go, and he walked on the same. Negative fighters don't suit me. So just said to Eddie, get me back out in April. Get me the same sort of winning record opponent, a good yeah. fighter, and we'll put another performance. Yeah, you sort of took my next question there. I assume now, just for you now, activity and it make up for lost time. April, is that when you're saying you want to get back out? I think April makes sense. Um, I heard Johnny might be fighting in April, so he's in my stable, and Giorgio's with Matt Trim, so hopefully we can all get on the same sort of card. April time, I'll be back in the gym next week, so get active now, Matt. Do you know what I mean? I've been too, too, too long just watching people fight. It'd be nice to get back in there again. It sort of give you that love back for the sport. Obviously, I know you're only young anyway, but when you go through these sort of adversities, it takes a bit out of you and makes you probably question a lot of things. And I think people think we sort of suggested it in our interview that you guys are, are either all millionaires and this, that and the other, but you still have to earn your, earn your crust and bring that money in still. When I mean, you're out the ring, it's yeah, yeah. hard to do that and sponsors have to be loyal and stick by you. Talk me, talk me through that. Exactly what you just said there. I felt bad asking sponsors for money when I ain't fighting because... It's their hard earned money. I'm thinking like, how, how can I ask a man for money when I can't? I know I'm not going to be on the telly for a good seven, eight months or whatever it was. So I went back to graft doing a bit of PT and where I could and things like this. Just like it got a bit of money in, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to walk that off for a little bit and get back fighting now, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm, 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 back. I'm good to be back, mate. It's been, it feels good. Back on. Well, welcome back. We look forward to seeing you back out in the ring again. Johnny, just appreciate you always talking to Boxing Social, giving us some of your time. It'll be good to see you back out soon. Cheers, Matt. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.